Hello everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here and I'm sitting here on the balcony of my holiday home and uh, wow, it's very warm. So I'm in a leisurely, uh, I'm in kind of relaxed mood. Now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to continue on with this cross tabs thing I've been looking at and um, I just want to show you that we've looked at tables for cross tabs now I want to show you in this video that clustered bar charts are a very useful thing for cross tabs All right. now the example we're looking at is is that which question we're trying to answer is is there a relationship between smoking and lung cancer and since these two variables are qualitative we apply a cross tabs analysis we, we do analyze descriptive stats, cross tabs, okay, and then move one of the variables into the rows, one of the variables into columns. And then we check for statistics and we say chi square, blah blah blah, all the stuff we've done already. The only new thing to add here is look, display clustered bar charts. See you wouldn't have noticed that because there's all these little buttons here, there, everywhere. You've got to kind of know where to look. If we click on that and now say OK, let's look at what the output we get. OK, same old thing. The counts and the test. And previously we asked for the strength as well of the relationship. And now we've got something new. Look, this is pretty neat. Well, it's, you know, looking at a graph can tell us more. Things can stand out more easily than just looking at a table of numbers. So what we can see here is, remember for previously we said that it seemed to us there is a relationship between smoking and non-smoking with smokers having high chance of getting lung cancer and non-smokers. Well, we can see that out of the hundred sample of 100 people, 30 people, look, we've got, well, let's not even introduce numbers into it. We can see that out of the smokers, look, there is more blue ones, which is lung cancer, green bar, did not get lung cancer. So you can see smokers more of lung cancer than non smoke than smoke than did not get lung cancer and for the non smokers non smoking and uh, did not get lung cancer is higher than non smoking and got lung cancer. See? So the patterns are reversed. The blue dot the blue bar is the taller than the green bar, whereas in the non smoking the reverse is the case, the green bar is taller than the blue bar. Okay? That's it. Now, where did the numbers come from, in case you're interested? Well, this here, smoking, and with lung cancer, is around 30. Right, you get that number from the table of counts here, look. Smokers, and lung cancer, 30. That's where we've got that number from. Let's look at this green bar, this really tall one. It's around 60, isn't it? So that's for non-smokers, did not get lung cancer. So we look up here. Let's see, non-smokers didn't and did not get lung cancer. It's 60. Yeah, so that 60 rep is saying non-smokers and did not get lung cancer. So this is worth putting in a report, possibly express its percentages rather than counts. But anyway, the main thing is that you can see the relationship is quite clear, isn't it? And rather looking at the table, that the pattern here is reversed. Okay, hope that's been useful. Nice and short video.